HER2 positive breast cancer, three words that can sound terrifying. If you just heard them in your doctor's office, you might be thinking, what does this mean for me? Does it make my cancer more dangerous? And most of all, what happens next? I want to start with some reassurance. Yes, HER2 positive breast cancer used to be one of the most aggressive subtypes, but today it's also one of the most treatable, thanks to remarkable advances in targeted therapy. In the next few minutes, I'll explain what HER2 actually is, why your diagnosis depends so much on HER2 status, what treatments are available now, and why, despite the scary label, there is real reason for hope. So, what does HER2 mean? HER2 stands for Human Epidermal Growth Factor Receptor 2. That's a mouthful, so let's make it simple. Imagine every breast cell has little antennas on its surface. These antennas send signals inside the cell telling it when to grow, when to divide, and when to stop. HER2 is one of those antennas. In a normal breast cell, HER2 exists in the right amount, but in some cancers, there are too many HER2 antennas, thousands more than normal. These overactive antennas are constantly screaming at the cell, grow, divide, don't stop. That's why HER2 positive cancers tend to grow and spread faster. The cancer cells are fueled by this hyperactive growth signal. About one in five breast cancers, roughly 20%, test positive for HER2. So if you've been told your cancer is HER2 positive, you're far from alone. HER2 positive cancers can happen at any age. They occur in both women and men. And they can be found at all stages, from very small early cancers to more advanced disease. The critical step is testing your tumor's HER2 status through your pathology report. This single marker, positive or negative, has a huge influence on your treatment plan. Before the year 2000, HER2 positive breast cancer was considered one of the most aggressive types. Patients often had a higher risk of recurrence. Survival rates were lower compared to other subtypes. But then came a breakthrough. In 1998, a drug called trastuzumab, also known as Herceptin, was approved. Herceptin was the first drug that specifically targeted the HER2 receptor. Instead of attacking all rapidly dividing cells like traditional chemotherapy, Herceptin was designed like a guided missile. It honed in on the HER2 antennas and shut down their signal. The results were revolutionary. For the first time, HER2-positive uh, patients had dramatically better outcomes. In fact, survival nearly doubled for some groups. Since then, we've had a flood of new HER2-targeted drugs, each one improving results even further. Today, HER2-positive breast cancer is no longer the same frightening diagnosis it once was. It's now one of the best examples of precision oncology in action. You might be wondering, what would my treatment look like? Let's go step by step. Most patients will have surgery, either a lumpectomy or a mastectomy. The choice depends on the tumor size, location, genetic risk, and personal preference. Sometimes surgery comes first. Sometimes treatment starts with medicines to shrink the tumor before surgery. Radiation is often uh, used after lumpectomy in HER2-positive breast cancer, sometimes after mastectomy, especially if lymph nodes are involved. Also, HER2-positive cancers are often treated with chemotherapy, but the key is chemo is combined with HER2-targeted therapy. This one-two punch has proven far more effective than chemotherapy alone. This is where treatment has advanced the most. Let's walk through the main categories. First, trastuzumab, or Herceptin, was the original game-changer. Pertuzumab, or Pergeta, works slightly different from trastuzumab, but when combined, the two drugs block HER2 more completely. Together, they are called dual HER2 blockade. This combination is now standard for many patients. Antibody uh, drug conjugates are like Trojan horses. Addo, trastuzumab, emtamsin, or Katsaila, and trastuzumab, deruxtecan, also known as NHER2, are antibody drug conjugates. They combine an antibody that finds HER2 with a small dose of chemotherapy attached. The antibody delivers chemo directly to HER2-positive cells, making it more precise and powerful. Then we have uh, pills that target, target HER2 inside the cells. Drugs like lapatinib, neratinib, tucatinib are used in certain cases, especially in advanced cancer or if cancer spreads to the brain. This toolbox is constantly growing. For patients, that means more options and better survival than ever before. One of the most common questions patients ask is, how long do I need HER2 therapy? In early stage breast cancer, 
the standard is usually one year of trastuzumab-based therapy. In advanced or metastatic cases, treatment continues as long as it's working and side effects are manageable. It's important to know, HER2 therapy is often well tolerated. It can cause fatigue or mild in infusion reactions, but most patients are able to continue their daily routines. The main risk we monitor for is, is heart function. So you'll get regular heart scans while on treatment. So what about prognosis? Here's the encouraging news. With HER2 targeted therapy, survival for HER2 positive breast cancer has improved dramatically. Patients with early stage HER2 positive cancer now often do just as well or even better than some hormone receptor positive cancers. For metastatic HER2 positive disease, new drugs like NHER2 are extending survival in ways we couldn't have imagined even 10 years ago. So yes, HER2 positive used to mean high risk, but today it also means access to some of the most effective treatments in oncology. When you meet with your oncology team, bring these key questions. One, is my cancer HER2 positive, HER2 negative, or HER2 low? Two, what HER2 targeted therapy is part of my treatment plan? Three, will I need chemotherapy as well? Four, am I a candidate for antibody drug conjugates or clinical trials? Five, how will we monitor my heart health during treatment? Six, what's the expected duration of treatment? Seven, what are the chances of a long-term remission in my case? Having this checklist helps you stay informed and engaged in your care. You may feel overwhelmed by the new terminology. You may be worried about side effects like hair loss, fatigue, or nausea. Here's the truth. Many patients continue to work, raise families, and live full lives during HER2 therapy. With modern supportive medications, side effects are manageable for most people. And because HER2 therapy is so effective, many patients are able to look ahead with real optimism. Support groups, both in person and online, can also make a difference. Hearing from others on the same path can bring comfort and perspective. A few quick notes about situations you might encounter. Your tumor may be HER2 positive and hormone receptor positive. This is sometimes called triple positive. Treatment usually combines HER2 therapy, chemotherapy, and later endocrine therapy. HER2 positive with brain metastasis. Tucatinib, a pill, has shown real benefit here. So even in difficult cases, options continue to expand. Another situation is HER2 low cancer. If your report says HER2 low but not positive, ask about an HER2. This is a drug that has shown benefit in patients with HER2 low breast cancer. So what does HER2 positive breast cancer mean today? It means your cancer cells have too many HER2 antennas. Yes, that makes them more aggressive, but it also makes them more vulnerable to some of our best treatments. 20 years ago, HER2 positive was a frightening label. Today, it often means you'll receive therapies that dramatically reduce recurrence risk and extend survival. Science has turned a weakness into a target, and that's why many patients with HER2 positive cancer are thriving. If you've just been diagnosed, know this. HER2 positive may sound intimidating, but it's also one of the clearest examples of how modern oncology can turn a challenge into an opportunity. Ask your questions, understand your treatment plan, and remember, you're not alone in this journey. If this video helped you, share it with someone who needs clarity, and subscribe for more easy-to-understand, expert-backed cancer education. HER2 positive breast cancer is not just a diagnosis, it's a roadmap, and with today's treatments, it's a roadmap filled with hope.